I don't usually talk about politics, but politics do affect real estate. So today I'm going to talk about the election coming up in Nevada, give you a little prognostication in my Robnostication about what I think is going to happen. And of course, I'm going to talk about the future of Las Vegas real estate. It's all very important. Let's check it out on the other side. Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Rob Howe, Rockstar Realtor. That makes you the rock star because you're watching this. And right now, I hope you've already done what everybody should be doing, which is subscribe to my channel. I'm going to give you two seconds to do it. One, two. Did you do it? I hope you did. All right. So check it out, y'all. Today, I'm wearing my T-shirt. You know, just wanted to promote myself while I'm promoting myself. Is that... Is that all right with you? So if you want one of these, I have some left. Uh, you can let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want a t-shirt. I'll send you one for free, all right? We'll figure out how to get it to you. And uh, I got lots to talk about today. We're going to whip through a little bit of something. Like I said, I don't usually get into politics. But? I wanted to uh, give you my predictions because I, I think it's actually fairly easy what's going to happen for the most part in uh, the elections that are coming up. And those elections do have ramifications on, of course, the real estate market um, and the ec economy in general. And generally speaking, that's where I'm going to go. I think people are uh, they are pressured right now by a lot of economic situations that they're seeing come up. They're not exactly excited with some of the representation. And so when we look at what we have going on in Nevada, it's really the first time that I'm aware of that we've had Democrat control in uh, Nevada, um, pretty much across the board. So, you know, you see a sea change coming, like it or not, that's what I think is going to happen. I think people are, uh, you know, are they're, they're a little red with anger and they're going to take it out on the in the voting booth. And I think they're going to vote out a lot of people and put in new people. And those new people are going to be Republicans. Uh, that's just what I think is going to happen. I think the governor's race could be very close. I'm not going to go into each of these, but I think the governor's race could be very close. Um, some people didn't like what Sisolak did in the, in, during the COVID times. I thought, you know, he didn't go full California on us, so that was good. Um, Me coming from an independent mindset, I just want things to be healthy, equal, you know, not over overbearing on each side. That's something that I've enjoyed about living in Nevada is that we kind of known as a purple state. Most of my life, we've been trending that way and a little bit more balanced, which is something that I want to jump to really quickly because a lot of people are going, Rob, you're predicting Republicans are going to get an office. Oh my God, they're going to go after abortion here. Well, this is something that I've seen ads on TV about here. And it annoys me because I know the reality. The fact is that they're scaring people saying it's going to get taken away or that the new people, Republicans, are going to come in and rip that away and change that law. Well, guess what, folks? They can't. They cannot do that. It is codified into Nevada law. I'm going to read it right quick. Nevada Revised Statute Section 442.250 codified the right to abortion. This right was further protected in 1990. This is an interesting point. 1990, when Nevada voters affirmed the state's dedication of protecting re reproductive health care by passing Question 7, shielding NRS from repeal without a direct vote by the people. So what would have to happen is we'd all have to vote on it. They'd have to put it up as a question. Like we have three questions on the ballot this time. They'd have to put that up as a question. Um, and uh, then if people removed it, they removed it. Like it or not, that's how it is. But I'm just saying they're out there saying that, you know, they're going to do these things and that's just not going to happen. Not that way. And I find that dishonest. Now, listen, both sides, all these people, all these politicians do that. But I do think the representation that we have in our state, cities and of course, federally can affect how our real estate market is going. So my prediction is, is that it's going to go mostly red through across the board that could affect the governor's race enough to boot Sisolak. I don't know how you feel for about it. I'm a little 
mixed on some of this. Uh, moving on to the real estate market, which is what you're here for. That's what I do, folks. I talk about the real estate market and what I'm seeing coming ahead is a slow moving market. We've entered a very slow time. I think we have traditionally a time that things are slow and we're talking about the end of the year and the beginning of the year. I think that's what's going to transpire. It's going to be slow because the interest rates are for sure going up again. I think there'll be another rate, rate movement in November, maybe early November. You know, they might wait till uh, after the election. I don't know. It's going to be somewhere around there, um, but it's coming probably 0.75 and then maybe even another one after that. The Fed is really, really uh, hawkish on this. They're going to keep ramping that up. That's going to further slow buyers from being able to get out there and buy. That's also going to slow sellers from saying they want to sell. And that's what I'm seeing. The inventory is going to go up. We're not seeing tons and tons come on. It's not mountains of inventory yet. Now, there are going to be those who got caught in this and going to have to sell. Again, watch my last video if you want to know what I think you should do. It's you need to sell really quickly and for a good damn price. I think some folks might want to wait this out. Uh, uh, many folks are going to want to wait this out because there is talk that on the other side, you know, going into next year and I, who knows when, it really depends on if the Fed gets what they want out of this, if they start seeing inflation getting tackled, it might be a great time to get back into the market. I can't quite say that yet. W one of the things I'm going to say is that when people just, everybody seems to know exactly what's going to happen, that's when I get a little worried because that's not always what's going to happen, right? You know, in especially in the real estate and economy, you know, in in stocks and Bitcoin, you name it, anything where there's a lot of investing going on, a lot of money moving around, you know, everybody seems to know. That's when I'm kind of like, you know what? We might want to take a check here and like find out really what's going on and be cautious because I don't think anybody really knows uh, what could be coming next. There are those who are doomsdaying and saying that inflation is going to go even higher. And even with all the, the things that the Fed are doing, they got started too late and it's going to be too hard to wrangle. So that means a longer t period of time with really high rates. And that's going to continue to put downward pressure on the real estate market. And that could be, you know, very much so uh, losing a lot of equity over time. These are a lot of could be's. I'll tell you every month, I'm going to let you know, and more than once a month, I'm going to let you know what I'm seeing. So uh, the median price will decline in October. OK, when we get the numbers in November, this is what I do on my Robnostications. I tell you what's going to happen with the median price, the inventory rate hike going to happen. Uh, median price will decline. I was wrong last time, which there was a little bit of a surprise of still like people getting into these properties, Sell sellers were giving what they're doing, what they should do, which is giving uh, closing cost credits, which kept the prices the same. They kept the prices the same through September. Um, and that was a little surprising. But looking back on it, not that surprising, because again, those couple of things, buyers were trying to get in before they knew rates were going to change. And the sellers were giving a lot of goodies behind their sale, which kept their sale prices higher. Inventory will rise slightly as well. All right. So not a crazy amount of inventory is going to come up, but it's going to rise slightly. Anyway, folks, that's my Robnostication for now. We're going to have a slow end of the year. You know, I, I'm, I've been staying busy with this and that. And the other thing I've been saying personally, anecdotally, I have had business. It's harder work. I'm sure a lot of agents would agree. A lot of the work that we have to do now is harder work, but that's all right. Work is work. And right now, if you're an agent, I hope you saved your pennies because we're going to have a little bit of a slow period through the beginning of the year. And also right now is to do like what I'm doing and reinvent your business. Now, do you do what you can to be on top of things? I know some agents watch my show, so uh, I would definitely advise that we all, if you want to be smart, start working on your stuff now when you have a chance, when you ch have a chance, when your head's not getting all whacked out because you're so busy. Because busy times will be ahead again. It's just a matter of when. All right, folks, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this Robnostication. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. I promise it won't be all about politics.
Although I might come back around if I got a couple of things right and talk about it. All right, see you later.